Hi, Mitch Gross, the Cinema Product Manager at Panasonic. And today, here at Cinegear 2017, we have debuted our latest camera. This is the AU-EV-A1, the EVA-1 cinema camera. This camera has a Super 35 sensor, and it's actually not a 4K sensor. It's beyond 4K. It is a 5.7K sensor. That yields really high quality 4K. So we can record 4K up to 60 frames a second. We can actually also record 2K up to 240 frames per second. And that's recorded on SD cards, inexpensive SDXC cards that goes right in the back of the camera here. There's two slots so you can do long continuous records. Those recordings, even in 4K, can be at 10-bit 422, and you can have a bit, uh, a bit rate of up to 400 megabits per second. So then you have a really rich, uh, robust signal that you'll be able to manipulate and post to get all the color correction you want without having it start falling apart on you. It's a really rich, high quality signal. Also, that 5.7K sensor, it not only yields great 4K, and really uh, high quality uh, colors because you have more red, green, and blue samples, but also in a future firmware update that'll be available for this camera. This camera is gonna come out in the fall, it'll be available, and then a little time after that, we'll have a, a firmware update for it. That will enable a raw data output to go to third-party recorders, and that will be available in 5.7K, so you get a higher resolution available to do with as you wish. This camera also has some other unique features there is what we call dual native ISO. Now dual native ISO is exclusive to Panasonic and we first debuted it on our top of the line Vericam models. What you get with dual native ISO is a way to read the sensor in a fundamentally different way than everyone else. So our lower rate rating of ISO, that's what we all do. That's the way all the cameras work. And you can always gain up any camera to get more sensitivity, but you get more noise with that. Instead, what we do is we have our other way of reading the chip, where we optimize the signal and we get more information off of that signal path without having any compromise. So you'll get a brighter picture without having uh, any increase in noise, without lowering your dynamic range, any of those issues. You will have two different levels of ISO. On the Vericams, it's 800 ISO and 5000 ISO. On EVA1, we're not sure exactly where those numbers are going to land. We have some targets, and we've already hit certain targets, but we believe that we're going to tweak it as we're still developing this camera before its release. We think we're going to get even more than we have right now, so we don't want to give out a number quite yet, because you know there's going to be a lot that's coming with this camera. The camera has built-in NDs, two, four, and six stops. It also has the ability to have the IR cut filter be switched in and out, just on a push of a button. IR cut is normally locked to the sensor. Why would you want to do that? Well, if you swap out the, uh, switch off the IR cut filter, then you can get these interesting colors and visual effects. Plus, you can do sort of a nighttime, uh, night, night vision photography. So that's a unique feature, and especially in a camera this size and price point, to be able to have that ability. A really powerful thing. Now, this top handle is completely removable as is the side grip. That side grip is adjustable, but also you can remove it. And you can imagine, when you look at this, this form factor, it's very, very small and very lightweight. This weighs only 2.65 pounds. Really petite, and that footprint is really small. So that now you can put this in a gimbal rig, you can uh, go ahead and hang it off a drone or squeeze it into a car rig or something. It becomes a very versatile machine. So the idea is to have this small camera format be able to be used as a tiny little camera, or you can bridge it out and add accessories to it to expand it to be a full-fledged shooting machine. We have the Vericams on the higher, highest end. We have our GH5 camera on our sort of consumer lower end. And then this neatly sits in between, so it can be the big sister or little sister, depending on which way you want to go. Complete cinema camera line from Panasonic. Here is the EVA-1. It is going to be shipping in the fall, and it will be available for under $8,000. So if you want to get more information about the new Panasonic EVA-1, you can go to the Panasonic website, Pro Video Solutions, and we have lots of information online, as well as lots of our sister companies that are going to be all talking about what is the hot new camera.